फ्रेंड्स सो वेलकम बैक नाउ लेट अस टॉक अबाउट द सेकंड पार्ट ऑफ प्लेटफॉर्म बिजनेसेस इफ यू आर नॉट गोन थ्रू द फर्स्ट पार्ट आई हैव गिवन द लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन यू कैन गो एंड चेक इट आउट बिकॉज़ दैट इज वेयर यू विल कम टू नो व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय प्लेटफॉर्म बिजनेस एंड वी आर गो टॉक्ड इन डिटेल अबाउट द बिजनेस मॉडल ऑफ बीएससी एमसीएक्स आईएएक्स सीडीएसएल कैंप्स and now today we are going to deep dive in all these stocks which are quite famous and which has given a great return over the time in last 2 to 3 years we'll go into each and every business in much more detail and understand what this business is doing what is the scope from here believe me guys platform business are quite a good business to invest and uh, that is why no this is quite interesting that's why people are thinking about investing in this company and as and when the stock market goes up no from like you no know, we are the fifth largest economy currently and maybe 7 8 years will become third largest economy then the stock market is going to grow even you no know, uh, as piyush goel told no that by 2047 will be almost 35 trillion dollar economy currently we are 3.5 so in 20 years 22 years if we are going to have almost you no know, uh 10 times growth in economy then stock market will be at least 15 to 20 times from here and if this uh stock market is going to grow guys understand all this commodity stock market grows then all this platform business the chances are much higher means of course they are going to grow okay and that's why it is interesting to understand about the company the problem is that only that we have to keep in mind the valuation part okay chale to i'll not waste time and i'll i'll start with that guys and uh, again this will be a few part series so i don't know whether i'll be able to complete in this video so another video i may publish it uh, again for uh, no understanding about this sector so i'll try to make uh, you cover whatever possible guys by the way guys if you still not like the video do like the video and do share this video to everyone and subscribe to our channel okay chale so now let us talk about the performance of each and every company platform company we are talking about so first of all we'll talk about bombay stock exchange if you see the growth overall 10 years is uh, 13% okay but when we talk about last 3 years it has grown and this year it is almost 102% so fabulous growth and you know nsc ipo is coming that is also one of the reason why the bsc stock is going up uh, compounded profit growth 3 years is 36% and quite good one 10 year average is okay and this year it is almost 130 so uh, this is what the compounded sales growth uh, profit growth is there again when we talk stock price how it has grown growth over the time if you see in 5 years 82% 3 years 108% in 1 year 187% extraordinary return when we talk about roe average is 15 that is okay but you can see here that the cagr return is great for vs in last years the day it is listed it is given a great return i do remember it has gone to 100 Uh, no after listing it has gone down by almost 30 40% down on but after that it is no looking behind when we talk about uh, mcx mcx also you can see here the compounded sales growth for 3 years is 21 profit growth actually it is minus but now this year onwards it is started performing well and stock price cagr actually 10 years is 21 and this year it is fabulous 195% for 3 years also 49% one of the leader in the commodity business ncd is ncdex is there but you know it's not giving able to give that type of competition of course the ro is quite low for mcx when we talk about uh, iex iex if you can see you know overall the pro sales growth is 15% profit growth is 21% uh, okay however this stock has gone up currently almost 58% and we are going to talk about that why it has gone up and what are the threats uh, ix when because this stock has fallen by 20% recently ro is almost 38% which is very very good okay so they are leader in the power action you know that now when we talk about the cdsl they are leader in demat account so you can see a fabulous return uh, sales growth 63% or uh, no uh, 3 years 33% profit growth or 28% 3 years and in last one year and 17% but in 3 years it is almost 30% so quite a good growth ro is almost 31% so very good growth over the years when we talk about camps they are the leader in the mutual fund businesses you know that 
no sales growth 21%, profit growth 29%, and uh, stock price CAGR one year it is 81%. Okay, this year is a lot bigger. Earlier it not used to run so much. Stock price CAGR is 11%, ROE is almost 40%, which is quite good. So what it shows, it shows that no all these companies has done extraordinary well. Okay, and recently now let us understand is the are this company validated for next few years also or not that is what we want to check it here so now let us talk about the bsc in detail first key uh, how we feel about the bsc so talking about bsc guys uh, if we see here the no i am going to talk about some of the more important points which you have to keep in mind so currently if we talk about the transaction charges now this quarter has gone up by almost 45 per, per percent quarter on quarter which is very good even if you talk about year on year it is 455 percent so of course bsc has done x uh, no the result is coming very good again transaction charges cash segment is almost gone by 93 percent okay so there also growth is coming the main thing is that derivative sector has done extraordinarily well star mutual fund they are that uh that is also one of the product now as the mutual fund industry is growing they provide the digital service and bsc star mutual fund is performing much much better than the nsc mutual fund department so uh there if you see here no th that is also gone by almost 72 percent okay when we talk about opex opex is actually you no know, uh came in line okay and you know, but surged by almost 123 percent again why see why operating expenses gone up because sebi regulatory fees of 1.7 billion so almost 170 crore rupees they have to keep it separately on on account of provision again sebi is also bringing lot many rules which is impacting their financials and everything when we talk about the uh bsc what has the what was the game changer why in last one one and a half year if you talk about why bsc has such uh, uh, in a big way the reason is they launched the derivatives products and the derivatives product has done extraordinary well okay that was a trend changing measure for bsc of course nsc is leader in that but everyone started going into bsc much more Again, they are also uh, uh, no, gaining market share in derivatives from NSC. But you know that India is number one uh, among the derivatives in terms of derivatives of the world level. Okay, almost 60 70 percent of you no know, derivatives turnover are happening in India, and that is alarming. And many retail investors are losing a lot of money also. Again, no, uh, but there are a lot many regulations which are going to come to regulate the FNO. So that is a problem for, you can say, you no know, BSC for next, you can say, few years. But anyways, whoever want to trade, they are going to trade at the end of the day. Again, uh, facing challenges are related to regulatory fees, clearing and settlement charges. See, at the end of the day, SEBI may levy extra fees and all that that is going to impact them also so overall the scope is very big see if we talk about bsc the scope is very big of course now nsc ipo is coming and it has been said that maybe two lakh fifty thousand crore three lakh crore rupees of uh ipo may be there and the, its valuation will be much much higher than bsc so bsc actually now it is catching up with that ipo okay so uh, that valuation ko cash karne jayen. that's why this bsc is going up but when we talk about now that when we compare with the other platform companies, you can see the P ratio is quite high. Okay, 15.41 is the uh, CMP book value. ROE is 15, which is decent. ROE is 5.91 and EBITDA, EV by EBITDA, of course, 49 times it is on a higher side. Now, uh, these are the points you have to keep in mind. But if you ask me, the scope is very big. But all these you uh, know platform business does not come cheap to you because you no know, everyone already got in bsc if you have two years ago you know you could have got at a much much lower level but because the retail participation gone up so much and now you can see you no know, so much of uh, you can say fi also coming and market is going up then this will always attract as a you know a premium pro uh, stock okay so bsc of course good visibility 
again it may go you no know, the market share is big but you no know, valuation only you have to keep in mind okay now uh, this was all about bsc guys uh, again guys i am telling you uh, this are all i am just discussing the stock i am not holding all these stocks but my clients may be holding it because okay so we do provide stock recommendations so some may be covered also so that you have to keep in mind this is a disclaimer from my side again let us talk about an mcx in detail mcx is also another company you know which has done extremely well in last few years okay and if you see almost you can say 9 lakh uh, no participant already there they are uh, in mcx they are the leaders and you know that no uh, the producer all that also now started coming in m6 much more and no investor also so of course uh, uh, like gold uh, oil and all that are also uh, getting traction again fpi showing good tra uh, traction like foreign participants no basically fpi is nothing but the foreign institution and all that they are coming and investing there are almost 100 mc uh, uh, fpi register with m6 again true to labor charges actually levied by the sebi but it is not having a big impact till now to to level kya hota hai ki wo log discount dete hai intermediates ko wo sab now they are going to close it again uh, m6 preparing for to introduce a weekly contract now why this is important see guys weekly contract actually done very well for uh, bsc ओके सो वीकली कॉन्ट्रैक्ट इज वेरी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग बिकॉज जितना अगर आप वीकली कॉन्ट्रैक्ट रखते हो मोर एंड मोर सेटलमेंट विल एपन एंड मोर एंड मोर पीपल विल डू द स्पेक्यूलेशन एंड दैट्स वाई नो वीकली कॉन्ट्रैक्ट मे बी इंटरेस्टिंग सो दे आर गोइंग टू ब्रिंग इट विच मे इंक्रीज द वॉल्यूम अगेन वेन वी टॉक अबाउट दे आर लॉट मेन प्रोडक्ट्स दे आर लॉन्च लाइक इंडेक्स ऑप्शन टेंग्रम मंथली गोल्ड फ्यूचर कॉटन सीड वॉश ग्रूट सनफ्लावर ऑयल कॉन्ट्रैक्ट एंड ऑल दैट आर गोइंग टू कम इन टू market and this may you know actually bring the you no know, uh, turn on up you see bsc just launching that you uh, know derivative contract suddenly such a big jump come in the you know volume and all that again continue volatility in key commodity price like um, crude oil gold natural gas of course as and when more vol uh, volatility will be there you no know, more and more people will come and and uh, no trade in this market in order to speculate the things also rise in the retail participation in the option market so as i told you no more and more they are going to bring options again weekly settlement if they are bringing then more people will come and participate again the technology overhang was a big thing if you remember no earlier that uh, they had a contract with other company now they have contract with uh, tcs for that uh, software and all that and that is now behind us okay and now it is almost streamlined they are going to pay a uh, you know fee base uh, expenses to the tcs but yes yeah, so, uh, that technology was one of the hangover over the time now uh, that is behind us okay so that is a positive thing when we compare mcx valuation with other companies of course mcx no you can see here uh, P is almost how much? One sixty-seven percent. So it is trading at a very very high level. Even current CMP or book value ROE is quite less. ROC is quite less. Even ROE is less. EV by EBITDA is also very high. But the only thing why why MCX is having such a big rally is that the market is so big, and you know world over uh, commodity market is bigger than the. you can say equity market okay oil and gold if you consider oil oil is number one uh, no trading commodity in the world to ye bahut hi bada market hai and that is why the scope is big and they are the number one ncdsa is there but no wo itna chalta nahi hai so that is why now that is a scope of multi commodity action now this company was not at all performing when initially listed after i think 5 years now they started performing from last 2 years it is almost 4x to 5x but it's very very interesting company to know and uh, no keep this point in mind now whenever you are evaluating this stock so this was all about mcx guys now uh, no there are other uh, stocks also to be reviewed but no uh, like uh, cdsl uh, then iex and camps but no i think uh, no we'll stop here uh, this was nothing but a part 2 of the series of you no know, platform business review 
and now why we are doing in a part way because i want to give you a uh, no detailed explanation and i want to keep this 15 20 minutes video only so that you no know, you can sh see in part otherwise ab bore ho jaoge ek ghanta sunke okay so hope you like this video guys hope you like this strategy please put it in the comments what you think and if you want any stock or sector to be analyzed please put it i am going to reply that and also guys attend our workshop and also we will give you the link of our you no know, services what we provide as a recommendation says we follow this type of method you now when we review and suggest to our any of our clients okay so see you then bye bye and just do and check part three if you're not checked the part one yet go and check it okay link will be given in the description see you in the next video bye bye